the West is trying to ferment anti-revolutionary sentiment in Iran. That is exactly correct. People, that, you know, people who don't know any better, who unfortunately consume news from BBC and CNN, they look at what's happening in Iran and they think that's a revolution. They don't understand that the Western media is in full uh, swing, trying to, you know, in overdrive, trying to manufacture stories like they lied about in Syria, like they lied about in Cuba, in Iraq, in Libya, you name it, they've done it. They don't understand that in 1979, you already had the revolution. And what, what happened? They kicked out the Israelis and gave their embassy to the Palestinians. They kicked out the British oil companies and took back the resources. They kicked out the Americans, who were also uh, responsible for installing the Shah and training the secret Savak police. Iran kicked them out, kicked their butts. And since, ever since then, they've been demonizing Iran. And what are they trying to do? Crush the revolution from 1979. It's, in Cuba, it's the same thing. Cuba already had its revolution, and ever since Castro, they've been trying to uh, uh, ferment anti-revolutionary sentiment. Syria is the same thing. Syria had, <laughs> Syria had way more revolutions. You had guys who were president for like one day, right? But there was a lot of political instability in Syria. That's what happens when, when the Ottomans colonize you, the French colonize you, and plunder your crap. And, you know. But after a while, you had... Um, you had a revolution of, of Ba'athism. And what is Ba'athism? It's socialism and it's uh, pan-Arabism and anti-imperialism. You know, all the things that the West doesn't like. So just by virtue of Syria having ties with Russia, being a socialist, being an anti-imperialist country, they hate it. And so they try to crush that revolutionary sentiment as well. It, you see this pattern everywhere. Gaddafi, Gaddafi was also revolutionary for Libya, right? He led a coup, an officer's coup, and what did he do? He transformed the country, you know? He, he shed the colonial past from the Italians, from all the people that have plundered Libya, and he gave Libya an identity, you know? He had a, the Green Book, he, he built the largest man-made irrigation project in the world, you know, where 70% where of, of, of water comes from in, in, in Libya, or used to until NATO bombed it. Also, revolutionary. What do they do? They go and crush that revolution. Any revolution on the planet that goes against Western imperialism, they will try to crush for decades to come. Decades to come. And they will vilify you and make you the enemy. And, and, and that's how it is, man. That's how it is. That's what they're trying to do in Iran. I'll just finish by saying this, this game plan is a, is a tried uh, and proven method that they have used in many countries before. And when you, when you understand how it works, you can see it when it happens. Again, that doesn't mean there, there, there aren't people in Iran who oppose the government. Of course there are people in Iran who don't like the government. Obviously. They're, they're even allowed to voice that. If you do that in the UK, you won't, you won't get a job. Try, try getting a job in the British government while criticizing the government. It won't happen. Or, or, or the US government. It's not happening. When you go out and protest police brutality in the U.S., the NYPD will run you over with their squad cars. Guess what? I have videos because I can prove it. I have many, 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 many videos. So many videos, I can't even count them of police brutality in the U.S. Do you have those videos in Iran? I don't. Show them to me. Show them to me. I don't even have a handful, never mind the same amount. So we have double standards and covert ops re trying, to, trying to pursue regime change in Iran because they want Iran's resources. And most importantly, they want to stop Iran from emerging as a power and backing up Russia, backing up Syria, backing up Lebanon and Hezbollah, backing up the Hashd al-Shaab in Iraq, backing up Yemen. This is what they are afraid of. So they're going out at the same time against China. It's calling it the biggest threat now. It's the biggest world threat. Going after Russia, going after Iran, all at the same time. Wake up and, and, and look at the truth, man. Smell the coffee. Look at what's happening.